عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to a new video on how to action verbs Today we're going to learn how to draw a table of conditions What is a table of conditions or a table of conditions and results? A table of conditions and results is a table that summarizes the conditions of the experiment and the results obtained in it A table of conditions should contain the following First, the tube or sample, the conditions such as substances, the enzyme, temperature, time, pH medium, etc. And finally, the results if asked to. Here, this means that sometimes they ask us to put the results to the table and sometimes we are only asked to put the conditions. In order to understand, let us solve this exercise. An experiment was done in order to identify the specific substrate of salivary amylase. Here we see the setup of the experiment. Okay, we see that there are two tubes, A and B, containing both fresh saliva, and the first one contains so, uh, cooked starch, while the second contains an albumin of an egg, and we have the temperature 37 degree Celsius. Finally, we have here the results uh, where we make a failing test to tube A and pirate test to tube B. Now, let us see how uh, should we draw the table of conditions. The question is, construct a table of conditions and results of the experiment above. So, to construct the table, first of all, we have to draw it. And we divide it. We have here two tubes, so we draw. We, we put two rows for the tubes. Uh, we name the columns: enzyme, substance, temperature, time, and result. We write color with food test. We start filling the table first. The enzyme in tube A and B. There are salivary amylase because the enzyme in saliva is salivary amylase. The substance added in A is cooked starch, and B is egg albumin. The temperature in both tubes is 37 degrees Celsius. The time is one hour, and we see here we can not know the time from the picture here because the clock changed. Okay, or they will write after one hour either in the uh, setup or in the text. And finally, the result we have to say that uh, tube A gave pink red precipitate with failing test, and uh, tube B gave violet color with violet test. Of course, we shouldn't forget the title, a table showing the conditions and results of the experiment. Now, if they didn't ask for the result, we only write a table showing the conditions of the experiment or the experimental conditions. Pay attention here for this note that we don't say in the result transformation of starch or starch disappeared and protein remained because these are significance of the result. We have to mention the result as given in the document in the same way. So here, if they gave us the color with a food test, we have to put the color with a food test without change. But if in the result they gave us digestion or transformation, we use the same way. Now, sometimes uh, we draw um, the table of conditions in another way. For example, we write the food that we put in the tubes here and the enzyme, and we can only put uh, this sign that means presence. Here in this case, we have to put a key, which shows the reader that the plus sign means the presence of something. So here, uh, there is lipids in the three tubes. We write plus. There is intestinal lipase in the three tubes, so we also write plus sign in the three tubes. For example, uh, sometimes uh, another experiment, let's say two tubes, both have lipids, so we put a plus sign, but only one tube has intestinal lipase, while the other doesn't. So we put plus, which means presence of lipase in the tube A, and minus, which means absence of lipase in tube B. And in this case, the key will be like this. Plus signs means uh, presence, and the uh, minus sign means absence. And of course, we don't forget the title in each case. Thanks for your attention, and goodbye.